हेलो 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 एवरी वन वेलकम टू एपिसोड फोर्टी वन ऑफ इम्प्रूविंग चेस इफ यू थॉट दैट टूडे वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू हैव द शो देन यू आर मिस्टेकन आई एम एक्चुअली इंस्पायर्ड इन माई लाइफ बाय पीपल लाइक राहुल द्राविड who believe in consistency so you know for me very important is to be consistent and that's what we have been doing since 40 days extreme consistency uh, and that's what we want to continue in our uh, session today so also i got a message from vaibhav saying that he is awake uh, and ready to join so that would be nice uh, that uh, vaibhav is is here <coughs> and you know our thumbnail which is chess with comedians makes sense when they are present otherwise it doesn't so a uh, warm welcome to everyone who's in the chat uh, very nice to have you guys just a second today we are going to learn something very interesting okay i'm going to teach you about something new uh, and uh, yeah so how about before we get going and uh, vaibhav joins in when i can begin with my training uh, play a game online so if we can do that that would be nice and also you know uh, comedians on board i am sure all of you are following this event uh, it has been very very interesting today samay takes on joel and um, who is it uh i think biswa takes on anirban so i think the finals will be samay versus biswa and then it makes sense yeah this class uh, like two of the people in this class reach the finals yes uh, rahul rahul subramanyam i i did send him uh the link to this uh, stream let's see if he if he is up and if he joins in that would be nice to have him he he was keen on learning something new uh, in chess so that would be an addition uh, to our team and yeah i i just posted a london video today morning uh, and uh, that was uh, <laughs> a very funny one and actually i didn't know i i would just like to show you guys what i just posted and i'm sure you can check it out uh, on our chess base india channel but uh, just as a uh, this so d4 d5 bishop f4 yeah jake styles yes um, i have i have written to rahul and i have sent him an invite let's see most of the times uh, but i didn't do it yesterday i should have done it yesterday so he could wake up but um, well right now he must be perhaps sleeping maybe from tomorrow he could join in uh, h5 and i was so surprised to see this move i was like no come on this this is not possible this is not a good move uh and then e3 is just very natural because you want to keep the option open whether you want to put the knight on f3 or not and e3 and this is a real big blunder actually and i i was very surprised to see can you guys find what's the winning move for for black here <laughs> it's called the bengal trap yeah justice for tanmay i think yeah tanmay played uh, very well yesterday against samay uh, and somehow he managed to uh, almost beat samay but samay is very tricky you know he knows all the tricks in the book he knows that if you can't win the position you must win on time so it's not easy to subdue him uh, and yeah so e5 yeah absolutely e5 is the move which comes as a big shock to everyone bishop e5 then f6 bishop g3 then h4 bishop f4 then g5 so basically you get your bishop trapped or if you take with the pawn as well then g5 bishop g3 h4 uh it's just completely <laughs> what what a nice trap actually it's it's a fantastic trap uh in the position but as is true with all the traps you should know the downside knight f3 is the move which really puts cold water on black's ambitions uh, g5 no longer possible e5 cannot come and suddenly h5 pawn is looking very very silly so you can try this in your 
unimportant game some fun game just like that but i i always hate when a trap is just for the sake of trap so i'll tell you what it means for example yeah by the way i should give the full credit to this to eric rosen who is an im from um, usa i had actually met eric on uh, in uh, netherlands in 2016 uh he was there he was playing in the same event as me uh, and uh, i know him uh, very well very good photographer as well uh sujit varg is good morning sagar vibhav's novelty proud movement <laughs> proud yeah yeah actually uh, i would say i'm very proud of vibhav if he joins in i can i can uh, speak about it uh with when he is around i'm very proud that uh, he did this research because it's not at all easy to find such traps and i was not aware like most of the times you know good players are aware of what's happening in the world of chess so i believe that uh, and yeah eric rosen uh, he saw that stream then he taught it to anirban then anirban anirban played it then i learnt it then i made a video so basically it's kind of uh, propagating now uh, very quickly so e3 uh, is not a good move also c4 is is a pretty decent move here so i would say h5 is not the most uh, powerful move here okay and and just the thing that i wanted to show you was if you go to mega database and you click on reference you will see h5 has no games but in this position all the moves that have been played are knight f6 okay e6 c5 bishop f5 knight c6 c6 g6 bg4 <laughs> f5 Knight d7, f6, h6, b6, a6, bd7, even e5, queen d7, bishop e6, knight h6, g5. I mean, everything has been played, but not h5. When you play h5, it shows no games found, <laughs> which means it's really a new idea. Uh, Siddharth Ranadev loved your reaction on the live stream when this was being played. It shows that, however experienced someone is, these small things can bring joy. Absolutely. I mean. for chess players there's nothing more than learning something new this is what i have learned in my life that even in the in the most beginner events or wherever i go i can learn so much and you know the story right uh, bobby fisher uh, and also i think mikhail tal but i think definitely bobby fisher used to go into inter school tournaments you know like scholastic events to to get new ideas from kids playing there because he said uh, they are always playing some blunders some new and if he looks at something oh someone played h5 and suddenly fisher can be like oh wow that's a great idea maybe the kid would not even understand why he's doing that but uh, fisher is fisher you know so in that way uh, i think it is really and now we'll we'll invite the person who has been responsible for for this uh opening hello hello mr vaibhav sethia welcome hi 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 one second let me see why is i'll go to zoom oops sorry guys please don't spam don't come into the uh meeting unnecessarily i know you have been able to see the uh code uh one second audio kachi to bolne le padti hai na jab aapko pata hai darwaza khula mat ghus please mat ghus to nahi mujhe aisa lagta hai ki ye stream mein log nahi aayenge uh one second uh can you say something vaibo yeah, uh... yeah okay okay everything is good by the way vaibo Uh, everyone is extremely proud of the the novelty that you came up with yeah. uh, i just wish eric rose and apparently he does not even have a dedicated page his ka photography page on instagram pe where i messaged him i sent him your video also the one you made i i actually he is a very good friend uh, i played yeah. in the same tournament with him in 2016 in netherlands uh yeah. and um, he's a amazing photographer i mean his photos in chess tournaments are truly uh, brilliant but what i really loved is that you're watching this stream or or i think you watched that video which he cut out from his stream 
and then you are actually using it to teach someone else and that someone else is playing and it's so so nice i mean uh, that's how chess preparation you know you are like uh, this second to uh, player <laughs> going to a tournament <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Although, uh, so where I was playing against Sumit, I still knew it. Uh, I still knew the trap. Yeah. Uh, it's just that uh, I instinctively just played uh, knight f6, and then I realized, I'm oh so my happy. god, then... I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my training has worked. <laughs> like exactly. if you play instinctively knight f6 here, it's like yes, your chess education is is working well. But if you play instinctively h5, I'm like, no, this is not what we want. <laughs> so I played, uh, I played knight f6, and his bishop is still there, and that's when I that that's when it clicked that yeah, last night I had seen this trap, I can still play it here. So I was like, can I still play it? So I took my knight to uh, d uh, d7, hmm. but it doesn't work there. Obviously, like it's too much. Like I've wasted too many moves, how, and then how do you say like what in in which way? I went to knight f6. Ah. Uh, he went e3, hmm. and then I took my knight to uh, d7. This one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> <See? did. laughs> because I was like, I want to lay this trap. <laughs> I have to do it. <laughs> so went on doing it. And I spoke it, too uh, soon. Uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I was like, very, very nice. You are developing. And I thought, okay, knight d7. Ye wala knight khela this is also not bad. Developing a piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't push the uh, f7 pawn. So I had to take the knight there. And I was like, and the trap can still be there. But then uh, he just played, uh, he played knight f6. And I did not realize that this would... Ustem, I was so like you know one track into that the trap is executed. <laughs> Ki, yeah, he played, I didn't... and then yeah, you 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 gave up this pawn and you did all sorts of yeah. messy things. And I was like, what is happening to Weber? Why is he playing like this? Now I understand that you wanted this trap. Yeah, and it is such a horrible idea because already I wasted. Uh, being black, I am a tempo down. <laughs> I took my knight away. That was another yeah, loss of yeah, tempo. Yeah. And then I didn't see this. So that was just too much to ruin in the opening, I guess. Absolutely. But Sumit played really well. Yeah, like, he's playing he, well. Actually, what I have found is that in the comedians, um, those who are playing pretty well are you, uh, Biswa, uh, Samai, of course, all three of you. Rahul Subramaniam, I think he's he has this chess sense where he is playing. Uh, Rahul, uh, everyone tells me Rahul is like so such a wild card person. Like, he will play five games. और वो पांचवा गेम एक बहुत स्ट्रांग प्लेयर को भी हरा देगा लाइक पांच गेम वो उससे पहले चार गेम वो हारेगा कि 10th मूव में चेकमेट हो गया एग्जैक्टली बट पांचवा गेम वो ऐसा खेलेगा कि किसी को समझ ही नहीं आ रहा ha huh, and and uh, the thing is he was very close to beating uh, joel of course joel is very strong yeah. uh, and i think anirban is getting there but he still keeps making lot of blunders like he understands center control and stuff like that but he makes I think Anirban, like you know he's really good but like it's just that he doesn't know enough to yeah. execute also like so he takes his own time he has to think a lot yes so, yes yeah, and I, I don't know if i'm missing missing anyone uh, from there of course tanmay tanmay has tanmay, improved oh my god what tanmay. a game he played like it was almost nerve wracking as like yaar ye samay kahin haar to nahi jayega aaj <laughs> <laughs> Samay har raha tha. It was like completely yeah. losing, completely. By it the... was a increment wala na. There's a increment wale may bhi shayad nahi haa tha because I don't know if Tanmay would have found the moves. But yeah, I think this was... this finishing part is all about playing a lot. Yeah. Like I think you yeah. wouldn't face too much difficulties. Biswa wouldn't because your guys are playing a lot. But Tanmay Haan, plays like... a little too less, so that is always difficult. Usual time mein nervousness thoda kam ho jata if you played a lot. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sujit Vargis says, most inspiring is that Vaibhav did this after he was out of the tournament. <laughs> That's what I, I really like about Vaibhav. He's like, uh, I'm out, but you know, I can always help the people who are still in there. And uh, <clears throat> I think today you must be helping Biswa perhaps. prepare. No, uh, no, but Anirban is also your friend. So not easy. for. Yeah. I have a feeling like, so both of them are like equally good friends of mine. Anirban obviously like is... Like I can't even. It's like 9900 wala baada just because I spent more time with Anirban. Uh, but Biswa and Anirban like are equally close friends for me. But uh, it's just that 
अंडरडॉग को ना अंडरडॉग को शेयर करने में एक अलग ही फन है लाइक आई थिंक अनिर्बा इज इट एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एज बिस्वा सो I want to root for another one. It will be a like bigger fun, but like either of them win, I'll be really happy. I think. Okay. There's a better chance of this one winning though. I think. By the way, we have a guest on this show. I don't know who it is. It is written Bobby Kalyan Rath. Uh, Hi, it is Biswa. <laughs> either it is Biswa or I have sent the link to four people. I have sent it to Samai. I have sent it to Biswa. I have sent it to Rahul, and I have sent it to Vibha. Vibha is, is here. Samai is sleeping. <laughs> Biswa is. <laughs> There's a good chance this is Rahul. <laughs> reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Bobby Kalyan Rath. <laughs> It's some small kid. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> so he's writing. I'm just a fan. Oh, he's <laughs> just a fan. <laughs> oh man, मेरे को लगा ये Zoom पे आके WhatsApp के आ ओके 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 here to say love you three thousand okay okay thank you Bobby. <laughs> बॉबी कल्याण ओके ओके बट इफ यू वांट टू शो योरसेल्फ यू कैन यू कैन शो एंड देन लीव यू नो सो दैट एवरीवन कैन से हाय टू यू नो अभी मैं नहीं दिखा दूं नहीं सकता अभी दिखाने के कंडीशन में नहीं हूं दिखाने के कंडीशन में नहीं हूं that's how you watch chess guys that's how you watch chess <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you thank you that was a nice move but you know you fooled all of us <laughs> okay how thanks okay guys please don't now don't make this fool of us <laughs> that was very smart very smart i was like oh maybe rahul came maybe biswa came <clears throat> okay so so why about today we are going to do one very important i'm going to show you the game which made a big impact on me when i was very young uh, and i want to show that game i think we should do that first yeah or would you like to play against someone no no, no. i mean i want to i'd rather see the game then. okay okay so so the story behind this game is the following that i you know chess books were very difficult to get earlier and uh, this is also one of the reasons why um, chess base india started we started getting books here from outside india from other publishers because when i was young to get a chess book is like either you pirate it or you xerox it but the original chess books are just impossible to get in india and uh, if you try to get it from europe shipping charges you don't get it here you sometimes it mess, messes up so all of these issues existed but my uh, aunt who lived in the us she brought a book for me it was known as the 62 most instructive games of chess uh, and uh, it had 62 games very nice book it's written by irving shernev and this is the 62nd game of the book so you know every game i used to turn the page like as if it's some kind of a novel like next game kaun sa rahega some game of fisher some game of tal some game of um, Uh, morphy and you know it was filled with gems and this last game was between two people known as ivans ivans and osfal theek hai ye do jana and okay they are well known ivans gambit we know all of us uh, oh. but this is i think he is not that same ivans gambit this is some other guy but uh, so i said unknown people who would they be so let's have a look at the game so your task is to guess the moves at the right time when i will ask you um by the way i just received a message from eric rosen he said that's so great i i had asked him is it okay i'm are you okay i put your video in the in the uh, this he said i don't mind at all thanks for sharing so very nice guy wonderful nice. um <clears throat> so d4 and you will be taking on the white side <laughs> okay he's still writing he says I actually had the H5 tree uh, H5 trap in my stream just over an hour ago. Okay. The video I sent you. Oh, he might have used it again. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. He, 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 he must have used it again. And um, guys, please don't don't come on the stream. Yeah, there are too many. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> Aryan Ranjan is. is very cute yeah ek aapne accept karke bhi na ek alag hi trend set kar diya ab to log aayenge ab to aayenge obviously okay animesh samay aur joel ko hara ke kaisa laga vaibhav bhai oh yaar kab hara hai 
अरे कल रात को एक्चुअली जोएल को चार मैच बैक टू बैक कराया फिर उसके बाद समय बोला वो खेलेगा तो उसको तीन मैच बैक टू बैक कराया क्या बात कर रहे हो <laughs> तो मैं ऐसे इंस्टाग्राम पे डाल दिया था वो स्क्रीन शॉट की क्रशिंग सम यूथ है अगेंस्ट <laughs> अमेजिंग अमेजिंग आई थिंक टूर्नामेंट प्रेशर इज समहाउ अ लिटिल बिट अगर आपको फिर से यू नो बट यू बीट द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट प्लेयर्स एक्चुअली आई डोंट मतलब ठीक है ही बोथ टाइम्स डिजर्विंग लाइक जोएल केम बैक वेरी वेल एंड सुमित प्लेड अ ग्रेट गेम बट माय लर्निंग फ्रॉम दिस इज आल्सो टू अदर प्लेयर्स ये सब ट्रैप्स ट्रैप्स ठीक है बट व्हेनेवर यू आर प्लेइंग अ गेम व्हिच काउंट्स लाइक माय गेम येस्टरडे वाज द क्लोजेस्ट थिंग दैट कैन आई दैट आई कैन से दैट इट काउंट्स राइट राइट अगर मैं टाइम पास के लिए नहीं खेल रहा हूं कि बैठा हूं अपने भाई के साथ खेल रहा हूं या दोस्त के साथ खेल रहा हूं देन डू नॉट गो फॉर दीस ट्रैप्स एंड स्टफ लाइक प्ले सम सीरियस एक्जेक्टली एक्जेक्टली दिस इज व्हाट एक्चुअली आई हैड सूर्या गांगुली येस्टरडे ऑन द स्ट्रीम एंड ही वाज शोइंग हिज गेम ऑफ द फाइनल राउंड ऑफ बैंकॉक ओपन एंड ही वाज लाइक कि यूजुअली व्हाट वी थिंक इज मस्ट विन गेम में वी शुड डू समथिंग स्पेशल but the actual yeah. secret of winning must win games is to just play a normal game matlab zyada kuch upar niche karne ka zarurat nahi hai you will play normally you have better chances to win by the way Absolutely. i missed uh, one uh, super chat of shorya vijay ran who says hey sagar did tal versus petrosian thanks for teaching the way learnt a lot thanks sagar i'm not sure tal versus petrosian maybe maybe i'm i'm not 100% sure which with vidya sagar thank you so much for the super chat and uh, by the way uh, aryan ranjan who was just trying to enter the stream said that he has prepared for over 2 hours for samai he is written in the chat so oh, okay. aryan ranjan i will let uh, let him let them know i mean i let samai know that you have sent him an email also So, Actually, already did. He sent me a. Aryan also sent me an Instagram. I think I just saw a little bit earlier. Fantastic. So I sent a screenshot of his chat to some of that in case he nice, can. Nice, nice. I think uh, whatever Aryan sends is serious uh, because he is a strong player, uh, and you should take it seriously. Uh, nice. Priyam Trivedi, Sagar sir, came to Aje. Priyam, thank you so much. Yesterday you weren't there. Uh, Me Gujarati bolli you nahi, but Aje, you came here. So, sir, it's like it. Thank you. uh every time uh, priyam sends a message i speak in gujarati oh, that's my only daily dose of gujarati because amruta doesn't speak gujarati <laughs> okay okay so uh knight f6 was played c4 e6 guys all those in the chat also please focus you are on the white side so today you are going to learn something very important and something very new Abhilash Meregu says Vaibhav has improved so much after your training Sagar I am at 930 right now from 700 thanks to you thank you so much Abhilash this is very very nice to see uh, and I also believe Vaibhav has become stronger it's just that uh, you can't really take those ratings of uh, online platforms very seriously uh, but I think he's he's improved a lot that is for sure and but you know he's still uh, he still falls for these uh, traps that he wants to set and, and that time you can't help it <laughs> ah jb rao says please collab with eric rosen if possible how about how about if i ask eric to right now join for a few minutes and maybe we could we can thank him properly what do you yeah, think absolutely absolutely okay i sent him like a <laughs> okay Okay, if Eric joins, that would be nice. Um, so, but it's almost annoying to see that I'm Eric Rosen looking on Instagram, and I'm not getting me. And then I get Eric Rosen uh, photography, and then I'm thinking, "Oh, what's going to happen? I don't know who it is." Then I'm going to Google and I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm looking at Eric Rosen chess, St. Louis, Instagram. Then I'm या एक चेस वाला चाहिए मेरे को ना अगर वहां पे दिख रहा है कि हाँ एरिक रोजन को फॉलो करना है और चेस वाले को ही करना है तो मेरे को दिख ही नहीं रहा है मैं ढूंढ नहीं सकता उसको इट्स ऑलमोस्ट अनोइंग टू नॉट फाइंड अ चेस अकाउंट आल्सो आ सो फिर आई गेस दैट्स अ पर्सनल थिंग बट आई थिंक एरिक डजंट ट्राई लाइक टू पुट स्टफ या एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट्स हिज हिज स्पेस फॉर फोटोग्राफी ओनली बट इट वाज ऑलमोस्ट अनोइंग टू नॉट फाइंड हिम एनीवेयर लाइक अबे यार या या 
श्रीकर पटनाला से सागर कैन यू प्लीज आज समय टू हैव अ टॉस टू डिसाइड हु गोज वाइट एंड ब्लैक टुडे देयर वोंट बी एनी चांसेस ऑफ ऑडियंस सेइंग इट्स अनफेयर बाय द वे सी ए ओ पी ओ यू आर अ सी ए आई डोंट नो इफ दिस इज एक्चुअली अ थिंग बट येस्टरडे अनिर्बन मेंशन दिस टू मी बिफोर हिज गेम व्हेन आई वाज टेलिंग हिम द गेम द ट्रैप दैट यू वाज टेलिंग मी दैट वो सुमित के साथ सुमित जैसे पहले ही गेम भेज देता है लाइक यू नो लिंक बना के and apparently apparently i don't know i didn't try it out yet it's a thing that jo link bhejega usko white mil jata are iske liye biswa ko hamesha white milta hai biswa oh. and that's why he keeps playing london system all that i was like biswa ko kabhi black se dekha hi nahi ki wo khel raha hai par aage do baar ho sakta hai now the thing is uh, sumit sorum knows this okay he knew he had figured this out and he's been doing this with all of us and anirban को पता कहां से चल गया मेरे को पता नहीं बट ही आल्सो फिगर्ड इट आउट तो वो सुमित सौरभ को मैच के 10 मिनट 10 मिनट पहले ही भेज दिया लिंक ठीक है <laughs> और फिर व्हाट्सएप ऑफ करके बैठ गया <laughs> अरे बाप रे फाइट तो मैं ही लूंगा सुमित सौरभ वेरी कन्वीनिएंटली कंप्लीटली इग्नोर्ड दिस एंड सेंट हिम अ न्यू लिंक कि लाइक फाइट तो मैं ही लूंगा या या सो या दैट इज टॉस होना चाहिए आई एग्री आई एग्री या या तो मैंने कल समय से बात की कि ये ऐसा कुछ कुछ हो रहा है सो लेट्स मेक इट अ लिटिल मोर फेयर टॉस करते हैं फिर मैंने बोला ये क्या यार डिजिटल वर्ल्ड में एनालॉग वे से जा रहे हैं अपने फिर लोगों को समझाना पड़ेगा कि क्यों टॉस कर रहे हैं इतना बोला नहीं यार कर लेते हैं कोई बात नहीं ये ज्यादा फेयर है हाँ एक्चुअली द नाइसेस्ट वे इज टू हैव टू पॉन्स ऑन योर टू हैंड लाइक दिस एंड चूज इज एन यू शो आई थिंक दैट वुड बी वेरी नाइस पुष्कर दुमे से इज ब्लैकमर डीमर ओपनिंग एनी गुड एनी ऑल्टरनेटिव पुष्कर इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेकन ब्लैकमर डीमर इज डी फोर ई फाइव इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग या लाइक आई जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक श्योर दैट आई गॉट इट राइट ब्लैकमर डीमर Ah, D4, D5, E4. Ah, okay, okay, okay. D4, D5, E4 डी फोर डी फाइव ई फोर इज द ब्लैक मर डी मर एंड देन डी इन टू ई फोर नाइट सी थ्री या आई बिलीव इट्स प्लेएबल बट आई थिंक दैट वेन एवर यू प्ले समथिंग लाइक दिस ब्लैक्स चांस ब्लैक्स टास्क ऑफ इक्वलाइजिंग इज वेरी इजी यू नो लाइक ब्लैक कैन जस्ट प्ले नाइट एफ सिक्स एंड यू नीड टू यू नीड टू पुट इन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट लाइक यू प्ले मू लाइक एफ थ्री then give up a pawn and yes in in a big at a amateur level this will work because you have development you have free flowing your pieces are moving out you can castle maybe go queen e2 long castle so it can work but when you play against strong opponents this opening won't work because you know they will take they will prepare with the engines like they know what exactly to do against this system and then you will be in trouble unnecessarily so it's always a touch and go thing you know like uh, whether you want to try out these things or not okay so one more question was the this small family that's come together for chess during lockdown uh is amazing to watch feel like i am a part of it as well amazing stuff chess op karan verdi says it uh, karan uh, yeah what do you think uh, vibo I'm really glad, yeah. I mean, uh, for me, it's become a thing also. Like, I'm at home. I mean, and by the way, I must tell you, my papa, my life, my life, each and every day, minimum one time, they tell me that I'll get up in the morning for morning walk. Each and every day. And I mean, as long as I've been in Calcutta, three years before the marriage, until then, I didn't have any answer. I was like, I'm just going to beat someone, and then I'm not going to beat someone. Now, I can say that I'm going to beat someone. No, no, I'm going to beat someone. I'm going to beat someone. <laughs> I have finally found something which he can't just like you know make a disappointed face to. <laughs> Amazing. By the way, hold your heart, Vaibhav. Here is the man who taught you the system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One second, let me get him on screen. Oh, Eric! Eric, welcome to the show. Eric is connecting to the video. Let him connect. Eric, your video is not. Uh, your audio is not connected. You'll have to correct your audio. I think you're muted. Can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. Now he's connected. Oh, 
Okay, now now I think it's working. Welcome, Eric. Welcome. You are the talk of the town right now in Indian chess, uh, at least in 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 all in this stream because you came up with an idea, an opening idea that helped <laughs> someone to win yesterday. I don't know if you saw the you saw the... that. That's so great. No, I, I I was just watching the the video. Um, no, it's a great like uh, compilation of, of your explanation, what happened, my video. Um, I, I'm I'm thrilled to have have played a role in it. Okay, so I I saw the video and I saw it to a, I taught it to a friend and he played it in the stream, which mm -hmm. is comedians on board is basically a tournament that this guy called Samir and his comedian organizes, which is only for but, Indian but Vaibhav, I should introduce you uh, to to Eric first of all I'm because sure. otherwise uh, you know you won't you won't say anything about yourself. You are so <laughs> humble. So Eric, I want to tell you about Vaibhav. He is one of India's finest comedians. Uh, and wow. he he loves chess so he keeps on watching chess he was following chess and now in the lockdown comedians have uh, started playing chess a lot so Vaibhav, Samai, uh, Raina I, I've heard of Samai that, that's the only one I've heard of yeah, but yeah. okay now now I've heard of two so it's so. like a team now Vaibhav, Samai, Biswa awesome. uh, and they had this comedians on board tournament and now now Vaibhav wow. will tell you what happened and how you are involved I was preparing uh against the Karo Khan and D4 is basically what I was seeing videos against and I'd seen your uh, video uh, how to play against D4 uh, I think it is from the St. Louis channel I guess but it was a really nice one and then I don't know I was opening a bunch of videos and I saw this where it was a trap against the London system and uh, I was I taught it to a friend of mine yesterday before his game and he executed it he's not a great player he was playing a stronger player but it took the other player <laughs> completely off like it was, it was so new. I we we so it got executed. It was great fun because it became even funnier because Sagar did not know about it. And if, during the commentary, everyone was like, "What is he doing?" And then this doesn't make sense. He's given a pawn. H five is not making any sense. And then all of a sudden, every, it just struck to everyone that this is a trap, and then the bishop can't go anywhere. But uh, I, I saw that too. No, it, it's amazing how how like especially for a strong player that's never seen this yeah. before it looks like garbage and then and it turns out yeah it's, uh, but be very curious how uh, is is this something that you came up with or uh, is this so it's really funny that uh sagar messaged me um like like just uh yeah. what like 15 minutes ago yeah. um because i i had it on stream i i was streaming for a couple hours um you played this, this evening and and I like the first game of the stream. I had it, and I explained like <laughs> where where I discovered it. Okay. Um, so I, I, it was like kind of random. I was working with a student uh, about a year ago, and they they had encountered this uh, this h five on move two. Okay. Okay. And they're a London player because they're my students. They played e three, but their opponent didn't play e five. Ah. Um. So we could have like just brushed it off as just nonsense. Um, but I, I ran like the computer analysis of the game and you, like you see the computer graph yeah. on move three, it just like goes down in black's favor. And oh. then, then like, how, how is this possible? Like opponent played H5 on move two. And then of course we turn on the engine and it's suggesting E5, like just winning a piece. But then some people were play, responding as not playing E3 to H5 before you saw this also, right? Um... So before I saw it, I just wasn't aware of like that this can even yeah, exist, yeah. like that you can win a piece so early. Um, I was aware of it. There, there's another trap which is very, very similar. Okay. Uh, where I don't know if you can follow the moves, but d4. Yeah, yeah. Okay. E6. One second. I'll I'll Bishop share the f4. screen so that Weibo can also see it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. D4. So d4, e6, bishop, f4. Okay. And then, then here, h5. So it's the same idea where you're waiting for e3. And, and then g5. Uh, it's a cleaner way of trapping. Uh, but bishop. this is like, I can understand. Like the moment I see this, I'm like, oh, e3 is a blunder. g5, h4. But when, exactly. when you see this thing, d4, d5, bishop, f4, h5, and now e3, and e5 yeah. this is really wheeled like you know this is not easy to spot oh no no um and it's i i've seen it used 
at least in recent times, like in these high level bullet matches, like even Lee Chest High Load Arena, ah. uh, where, where people try and use it against <laughs> me. I know Andrew <laughs> Tang fell for it once, um, where, where a lot of the London players will just um, like pre move E3. Hmm. And even if they're not pre moving it and they see H5, they'll just instinctively play E3 and then lose a piece. Oh, okay. okay. So. Fantastic. Uh, Eric, since you are here. <laughs> the the chat has been going yeah. all eric op eric op so many fans yeah like you have uh, jb rao says just for adding eric rosen to the stream big fan creative noob says oh wow eric op what a treat this is uh, keith mascarena says eric rosen john bartholomew sagar shah the holy trinity of nicest guys in chess really glad to see eric join your stream and ashwin subramaniam says thanks for bringing eric sagar i'm a big fan Learned a lot from his Sicilian Grand Prix video in St. Louis Chess Club and also from his videos in mm. LimitlessChess.com. His explanations are very lucid and clear, inspires you to play. Oh, I think, Eric, you have a huge, nice huge fan following in India. I mean, and also in US, of course, all across the world. But uh... no, that, that, that's really nice to hear. No, that's um, I did these St. Louis videos uh, like a long time ago before I, I had any presence on, on YouTube. Oh. And that was uh, the kickstart to my to my online brand. Are, are, are we live right now? Or are these are these YouTube comments? Yes, yes, we are live over a thousand. Uh, oh, nearly... oh, shout out to, <laughs> to people watching. Not, around thousand people watching. So <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eric was under the impression that this is all uh, like internal uh, stuff, but I think you you like didn't top secret discussion. You didn't yeah. you didn't uh, say anything that was inappropriate on stream. So no, I, I, I try. Yeah. I must say, uh, I actually started watching your videos a while ago, like around two years back. I I think so, two years or a year back. And those St. Louis ones, I don't know if you do them anymore, but like there were some videos which I really liked your style of explaining. This like you're so calm. There are times. There's one video where I remember I when that. you when you ask people uh, a suggestion and then someone suggests a move where the next where on the next move you can just capture it and how patient you are. Like uh, this. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I can just get that. And you're so patient with it. I really like it. It's so funny, but it's damn. You, funny. you have to be patient with, uh, especially yeah. with with some of the audience there. It's a lot of kids and. Oh, yeah. um, people <laughs> shouting out moves so some of it was like edited down so it's not like complete chaos yeah but, uh, it was damn nice though like really well explained and then i really had those videos really helped i appreciate that yeah um i i haven't been doing like much teaching for the the chess club just because i'm focused on my own like my own channel um but i i live walking distance from the club so i'm, I'm there very often and sometimes do work for like the bigger events right so. right and and I must tell the viewers that Eric is a tremendous photographer. Uh, if you check out his pictures, uh, I think you have an Instagram page as well. I have an Instagram, yeah, yeah. yeah people so can, so if you can check guys out. moderators, if you can put in two things, one is Eric's Instagram page, and another one is his YouTube channel. And if all of you here can can follow it, uh, mm -hmm. that would be just. F fantastic because i think eric puts up really high quality content in both aspects photography as well as uh, chess videos and i i think eric we met what four years ago in leiden uh in 2016 in leiden yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and at that point you were far right. away from streaming i don't think you ever thought you would stream at that point and i was just all, beginning no. chess base india so <laughs> you know we we are we are very serious chess players at that point <laughs> <laughs> yeah still uh still very much uh competing um trying to yeah trying to chase the gm title those were those were the days yeah yeah absolutely so are you are you still trying for your gm title so I've I'm content with uh, with just staying in I am. Um, okay. I, I don't have any GM norms. My once I got to international master, my rating dropped like eighty points. So I'm I'm hovering around twenty three fifty. Okay. Um, I I do own the the domain name gmrosen.com <laughs> just in, in case I, I get the title. But it, it would be a hassle to change all my like all my usernames from I am Rosen to GM Rosen. I mean, the book you planned, the diaries you've written. <laughs> no, no, I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Abhimanyu but, uh, Lamba, thank you so much. Says thanks, Sagar. And Ashwin Subramaniam has uh, sent again a message. He says, I won many, many games using Sicilian Grand Prix. 
and it all began with the St. Louis video. Oh, that's really great to hear. I'll have to do like a part two or something at some point. A lot of, a lot of lines still to cover. Yeah, yeah. Well, Eric, uh, in case if you are getting late, you can, of course, uh, take, take leave from here. But if you have like 10 minutes more and you could show us one of your fav favorite games in the London, like your own game, London system, oh. if that is something that is possible. I, yeah, sure. I, I, I can do that. Oh, fantastic. Um, are, are you guys so are you guys live on Twitch or what, what platform YouTube are on Chess Base oh, India oh, okay. on Chess Base India? Wow. And we have around a thousand people watching and I, and in general, cool. you know, it's very early in India. So everyone wakes up later in the day and then watches this. But uh, <clears throat> it's it's already uh, like a lot of people are here and can learn from oh, that's this. awesome. Yes. I'll have to, uh, okay, now now I'm a subscriber to the channel. Fantastic, um, fantastic. <laughs> that's that's nice. I got one more, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you want, so I can, um, I, I don't know if you can give me like control over a board yeah. or I, I, I don't know if I should share, share my screen. One second, I will I will give you control. Let me see how, okay. how that works. Uh, security, uh, or maybe you can share the screen, yeah? Like, I will allow yeah. you to share the screen so that ah. you, yeah, let's just try it. Wait, let, let me, let me open up chest space first. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, I think I'm trying to think of which, uh, which London game to show and something that I haven't necessarily showed, especially in that lecture. And also, I think you have a, a wide variety of games to choose from because you played so much. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of just sharing like um, maybe a simple, like one of these uh, like opening traps. Sure, sure. That would be wonderful. Are a bit more venomous. Please, please share an opening trap which doesn't spoil the position. Like, you know what Vaibo, <laughs> Vaibo, Vaibo does is in order to get that opening trap, he will go out of his way to to play uh, the bad move. And then, you know, uh, so so is it if it can, you can integrate it with good moves, that would be wonderful. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll um, I'll I'll see what I I can I can okay, show. Okay. No, I don't. Um, uh, Eric, where do you stream though? Usually, is it on Twitch? So I I stream. Yeah, all all of my live streams take place on Twitch, um, but then I I repurpose a lot of the content from Twitch for YouTube. Oh. Okay. Um. So I will um I I try and post uh, like regular YouTube videos. I'm just and, curious, like I, I don't get it. Why are chess players so uh, inclined towards streaming only on Twitch first? Like, although YouTube is a bigger platform. I yeah, no, it's know. it's a good question. Um, so Twitch, uh, this this can open up a whole other can of worms. Okay. But Twitch <laughs> um, has an ex exclusivity. Ex what's the word? Exclusivity agreement where if you're a Twitch partner, yeah. you're not allowed to stream simultaneously oh. on YouTube or mm -hmm. um, or Facebook or any other platform. Mm. Oh. Um, and because of this, I mean, the, the, the benefits to being a Twitch partner are, are quite nice. Or there's more ways to monetize. Um, so because of this, a lot of uh, a lot of chess streamers don't don't really focus on other platforms. Oh, that's nice. actually. Um, yeah. But um, I mean, there, there's still a lot of lot of things happening on YouTube with with streamers putting putting their best content. Yeah, on YouTube, I mean Nakamura, so. the way he's gaining subscribers right now, I think he's exactly. the fastest growing YouTube channel right now. Like he's crossed three hundred thousand. Maybe he'll reach soon five hundred thousand. By the way, Sai, it, it, it's incredible. Yeah, Sai Swarup says, "Hi, Eric. I have your eighty twenty London tactics course by heart. Much respect. Won a lot of games using that." And, uh, oh, that's that's yeah. great to hear. Yeah. I, I was thinking of show, of sharing some tact, like some of the the highlights from that course. Okay, okay, um, would be would be wonderful. Trevor Nader says only a true chess enthusiast, chess player, would appreciate for his videos and stream. Okay, so Eric, mm -hmm. uh, let's let's begin. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking of showing three things. Okay, um, two are like some really nice traps for white. And then another thing is like kind of a secret novelty. It's a bit deeper than this H5 trap, but it's like a new kind of emerging line. Okay. I think it has a lot of venom at the top level for black. Okay. Um, but let's start with the, the lines for white. I think the first one, 
Oh man, I, I could I could spend I could spend hours showing, but um, <laughs> I'll try I'll try and keep this uh, to to some reasonable amount of time. So the first one I want to show is a very kind of typical move order from uh, from the black perspective, where you get to this position. I've covered this in previous lectures that um, in this position, white should play knight bd2. If you play pawn c3, you're, you're walking into queen b6, which, which is kind of a well-known yeah. good line for black. Mm -hmm. um, so you play knight bd2. Um, now, if we want to get really deep, um, and maybe I'll just I'll, I'll mention this line in case people want to explore it further. Mm -hmm. But uh, the most critical <laughs> move here and the most complicated variation is queen b6. OK. Um, and I'm not going to show a full game. I'll just show kind of the, the key line and show the potential for excitement, especially from the white perspective. Um, and there has been a lot of emerging theory after DC5, Queen B2, Rook B1. And this is all kind of standard theory. A lot of grandmasters are playing this from the black perspective. Okay. White plays Bishop B5, E6, uh, white castles. You could you and could take the pawn on c5 instead of e6, or that that it's not a good move. That is possible. Um, if if black takes a pawn early, then c4 is is quite strong, mm -hmm. and then the queen's a bit misplaced. Black's underdeveloped, and if you study with this with the engine, uh, you'll you'll find a lot of interesting possibilities for white. Okay. Um, the point I want to make, at least with this line, and this will probably appeal to to more high level players. Mm -hmm. Um, is that after e6, we're just seeing the stats here, castling. Most common move among strong players and just in general is bishop e7. Okay. And then in this position, um, white has a kind of a new move, which is, it, it's gaining some popularity, but it, it, it's, uh, it's the fourth most common move here, which is e4. Mm. And this was actually, if I'm not mistaken, it was first seen in this Alpha Zero Stockfish match. And it, it's a beautiful idea where, um, in, in some sense, it's another pawn sacrifice. However, if black goes ahead and grabs a pawn, mm -hmm. then white has uh, an amazing move here, knight to c4. I, I hope I'm not mistaken with it. I could be... It could be mixing up lines, but let's just uh, let's just cheat and use Stockfish. Mm -hmm. D takes that doesn't crash the computer. So D takes E four. Yeah, Knight Knight C four is winning for White. And the idea is uh, Rook B three is unstoppable. Oh, and okay. the Queen's just trapped. Wow, that's a nice one. Oh. Um, and the, the Stockfish uh, Alpha Zero game, I think Stockfish castled, and then Alpha Zero played e5. And it, it was a really interesting fight. And I think there, there is a YouTube video of, um, oh, who are, the, who are the GMs that wrote the, the, the book on Alpha Zero? Uh, this guy, uh, Matthew Sadler, yeah? Yeah, Ma Matthew Sadler, and I think Natasha yeah. Reagan. Yeah, yeah. They, they did a video like covering this game and, and do a lot more analysis. Okay. Okay. Um, but I've, I've I've had this position a few times in like online games and uh, where people have taken on you, on e4 and then I try. If you take knight into e4 here, uh, also that. So this is another another line which is supposed to be good for white. I forget why. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's already like winning for white due to some engine. Ah, line. okay, knight e4. Takes... Oh, it's also pretty, like knight knight e4. Yeah, it's actually involving some sacrifice. Takes takes and then bishop wow, d6. Wow. And and where white sacrifices take the knight bishop e7, I guess, and and then it's just uh, queen d6. yeah, pure initiative wow. queen d6. <laughs> Um, Tremendous. Now it's very deep preparation, but I think there's there's even a lot of like title players that could walk into this. As well. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Bro. Like, there's a very good chance the person might actually. Uh, I mean, if I was there, I would have captured with the bomb though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's walking into it right away. Yeah, like e4 is such an unnatural move, and I remember like starting this position with the engine uh, years ago. 
and like if you turn on stockfish it, it just it doesn't suggest e4 oh it, it doesn't really fully understand the venom mm. um if you turn on leela don't want to have leela and stockfish running but i i believe leela will eventually find e4 <coughs> but but um, once uh, you play e4 stockfish actually likes it yeah like it's it's good <laughs> Yeah, so like Leela's already suggesting e4 is a top move. Nice. I think, yeah, with Stockfish, if you play e4, um, it, it it'll show Black's just better for a little bit, and then then eventually it'll change its mind once you go deep enough. Mm -hmm. So it's a great example of like the difference between yeah. Leela and Stockfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Alpha Zero and Stockfish. I cannot believe that there's a trap like rooted in like in and around mid game. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's very deep opening preparation. But I, I wanted to just show that, um, and then go back and and show um, a slightly, uh, probably more likely trap to happen at the at maybe just lower level where where black plays like a, a very natural setup uh, involving bishop g4. Mm -hmm. A lot of the players will play e6, but bishop g4. Yeah. Idea is just to continue developing with e6 and then develop and, and try and castle. Um, so here is kind of trap number two. I, I recommend c3, okay. e6, and now queen a4. And this position, like the, the position might look familiar to some people. This is basically a reverse version of the Cambridge Springs. Ah, yes, yes. Where Cambridge Springs has an opening where uh, like black plays it against the queen's gambit. Like usually the bishop would be here. Right. Um, and it would be flipped. But uh, in this case, there's a really cool trap which doesn't exist in the normal Cambridge Springs. Um, where it looks natural for black to play bishop d6 here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to close this out. And maybe I'll, I'll leave this to you guys and leave this to the, the chat. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Wait to move and, and find the, the winning move. Okay, fantastic. So Eric has a question for all of us here. White to move and how should white get a winning position? Yeah, that would be right. Win yeah, winning... Uh, I don't want to give an exact evaluation, but winning material by okay, force. Okay, okay. So guys, let's think. And also, Weibo, what what would you play here? I think Weibo, if if Weibo finds it, he's in good form. Yeah, like you know, Eric, we have been training since last forty days. So this is actually day number uh -huh. forty one of improving chess series. Uh, and That's Weibo great. has been present in nearly thirty or thirty five of them. Uh, he's always waking mm -hmm. up early in the morning in India. So, okay, Weibo, uh, think. Uh, Rohit Reddy says, I got to know about Eric in lockdown. And since then, I have mm. been binge watching his YouTube videos. His St. Louis videos are of high quality too. Big fan, Eric. Oh, that's really nice to hear. Thanks so much. And Mahesh Kotapalli says, wow, Eric on stream. Huge fan, sir. You made Sicilian my favorite opening. Won so many <laughs> games using your lessons. This is a best crossover after Avengers. Please bring him more on stream. Okay. That's so great. <laughs> I, I don't get so many comments about Sicilian. It's usually just London opening and uh, maybe these obscure gambits. But uh, oh, that, that's great to hear. Yeah. Vasanta Roy has sent a super mm. chat for the Budapest and the Rosen Trap. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, a lot of people know a lot of... I think, Eric, you your contribution to these two openings, uh, Sicilian and uh, uh, London, has been big. A lot of people playing it because of you. No, that's so great. Yeah, no, I, I, I get messages on a, a, a very regular basis and it's, um, keeps me motivated to, to keep producing more, more value for the, for the audience. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I am looking at the chat. It seems like some people have spotted the move. Most people seem to not, um, I, like there's a lot of different options for white here. And it's very easy to maybe just go down the wrong line mm. or play a move which looks good, looks forcing, but isn't quite as strong. Weibo, what's uh, your thought? I'm actually thinking uh, bishop b5, for, which is, I think, queen d7 after that, and then knight to e5. Okay, not bad. But I don't think that 
really solves much. <laughs> like, it doesn't do anything very interesting right now in my mind. I don't know. Yeah, so like Bishop B5, I, I see a lot of people suggesting in the, in the chat too, and it, it's it's a decent move, um, and and should lead to like some some slight edge for White. Ooh. Black does have some resources to defend, um, like with Queen C7, maybe slightly better than Queen D7. Um, but there's a move that just is much much stronger uh, than, than Bishop. I uh, I just spotted the move and it reminds me of this Kas uh, Ka Karpo Kasparo match. You know, uh, there's this one move over mm. there. And okay, uh, I I'm not going to say, but I think a lot of people in the chat have found it. If I found that, Vipo, look at look at Seems something uh, like a stunning move. You know, not not a simple move. Yeah, like a pawn push, which we would never see. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just try and okay. Um, so yeah, the, the key to kind of figuring out the move is is to really try and be creative and and broaden your um, kind of your your vision for for candidate moves. Because of, of course you're going to look at the the most natural moves, Bishop B five. Look at, look at the captures, but you want to go beyond just those and, and look for maybe a different idea in the position. You know, if if I'm right about how you guys are hinting towards it. Please don't tell me it's queen captures on c6 <laughs> because that would just blow mm. my mind. <laughs> just blow my mind <laughs> completely. <laughs> that would provoke double pawns, but not not the best life decision. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's a, a bishop move, Weibo. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. Try and imagine the worst possible bishop move you can play. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, uh, okay, there are two, but okay, this one is. Oh, this is yeah. this is hilarious. That I can try. <laughs> See, that I can try. Okay, uh, maybe bishop at six. Okay, oh, very close, very close. Just on the other side. Oh my goodness. No wait. So, if I go bishop e five. No, no, no. The other bishop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Bishop A6, all right. There you go. Brilliant. Bishop A6. Oh, that's so nice. It's not the type of move that like normally is is good, but uh, in this case, like you you basically just destroy yeah. Black's whole queen side structure. You you target the the defender of the knights. And like black has no way to to save everything here. Rook B eight. So the the threat for white is very simple to take the the pawn and then, and then yeah, take the knight oh, with check. Yeah. So if rook takes B seven, you take and then you hit. It's, it's a triple four, maybe right. quadruple four. Oh my goodness. Rook D seven, you take. There's a pin and it's it's happiness for white. Oh, queen C seven also doesn't do anything, I guess. So queen c7, then the queen's overworked. You can take, take, uh, and then fork. So all the lines just work out. That is out. so nice. Okay. I think we, I've played this this exact setup on like maybe the left mm. side of the board so many times. I've never <laughs> seen a6, but this is, I think, like just generally, I, I've reached this position so many times. It's beautiful to know this. <laughs> yeah, so it's important to include like queen a4, and, and this mainly works against... Uh, the setup where black puts the bishop on g4 but um oh. yeah it's one of these lines I, I i discover just with the engine like just playing natural moves and then just seeing the engine spit out bishop a6 so this so is, this, this has never bad. happened in a, in an over the board game uh we can check oh people Looks didn't like, one um, person has found it in 2019. yeah i I've, I've had this at least like four or five times online okay. um yeah, I guess 2019. Black was 2100. Nice. Yeah, so what most people play is bishop f4. Then it's mm -hmm. nice that you can take here first. And black just has so many things hanging that uh, white's guaranteed wow. to, to win. Fantastic. Enough material. This is crazy. <laughs> Damn nice. Very nice trap. It's very nice, yeah. So I don't know how much time you, have, you guys have, but I, I, I can share... I, I can share like the the one please i could please. share one more white white line okay maybe i'll, I'll share one more uh white trap and then I'll, I'll share like this 
the, the spark idea. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we 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 um, have uh, all the time. If, yeah. if whatever okay. you, uh, how much time you have, we have that much time. Yeah, I'll I'll try and keep this. Uh, I'll I'll try and make the next one okay. quick, and then um and and then reveal like this uh this last part of opening preparation. So this next one, um, the move order will be a bit different. Where uh, I just showed the line with knight f3, uh, but c3 is also very uh, a very playable move, mm -hmm. and um, it's a bit more specific line. But uh, we just kind of go through the the main variation, knight d2, also a very acceptable way of playing. Where okay, queen b6 is playable, but um, it, it's uh, it, it's it's a topical line among. Uh, among strong players. Uh, the move I want to show here is, is g6. Um, and now I have to give some credit. Um, and Sagar, you probably know the uh, know my friend who who was also in Leiden, uh, international master Irene yeah, Sukandar. Uh, top top Indonesian uh, uh, female player. Yeah, yeah, and a, a former teammate of mine at, uh, at Webster University. Mm -hmm. Um, and the story behind this, I, I discovered this uh, this trap from one of her games. She played a, a tournament in Spain, got to this position as white, um, and, and she like she was not prepared for g6, okay. but she she kind of created this trap over the board, and in this position she calculated until white is winning material, really, and then uh, eventually easily won the game. And what she found was, was actually quite fascinating because she basically calculated the, the, mo the most natural sequence okay. and then then just saw this really nice idea ahead of time. So when you see g6 is black, the, the first kind of critical move yeah. to consider is d takes yes. c5. Yes. Um, because black is basically signaling bishop g7, so why not take a free pawn? Mm -hmm. um, and the line she calculated was d takes c5. And then e5, mm -hmm. where okay, black can can try and change change their mind and and develop the bishop and win back right. the pawn. Okay. So the line to calculate is d takes e5 e5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, bishop g5 looks yeah. natural, and then bishop yeah. c5. Mm -hmm. And then you just tr try and like keep going with with the natural line, even though maybe this isn't super forcing. Um, it, it it maybe requires some further further calculation to to determine whether or not it's good good to go for. Um, and essentially, after bishop c five, white has a really just beautiful move to win material. You you mean? Ah, um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So well, I I think to make this easier uh, for for everyone watching, I'll I'll get to this position, yep. and then pose a question. Uh, white to move. Keep in mind, I, Irene found this uh, from even before taking on c5. But white to move and win material. So the the uh, usual hint for Eric's questions is that you have to look at unusual moves. Yeah, normal moves are not not mm -hmm. going to work. <clears throat> So Weibo, what's going on in your mind? Can you can you speak out loud so then Eric can can guide you? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I was thinking where to start from actually. So now I'm again going back to Queen D Queen A4, but I don't know. If, uh, so the previous one won't apply here, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> Bishop A6. Yeah, but uh, I'm just thinking. What else? Uh, maybe. Uh, now I'm considering going after the bishop in a way, maybe. B, might be three, maybe. I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's important in this position to um to consider the potential targets. Mm -hmm. It's good. Like you're 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 considering candidate moves, which are attempting to pressure Black's position in some way. Mm -hmm. um, though, okay, Queen A four it, it creates a pin, but it's not so mm -hmm. so forcing or it's not right. so threatening. Right. Knight B three it's a simple threat Black can respond to. Mm -hmm. 
I should find um, a like forcing move. Sorry, you were going on. Sorry, I'm. Cut yeah. Off. So, so the first question, even before you start looking for moves, is to ask yourself what are the potential targets. What what's either undefended or very attackable in Black's position. Okay, so uh, I know the bishop is un is undefended right Absolutely, now. Absolutely, yeah. So I am very tempted to try knight e4. Because, mm. Mm. because the knight on f6 is uh, obviously pinned. Mm -hmm. What about the pawn, though? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So if it captures back... Uh, if it captures with the pawn, what if I... Uh, oh, then I take the queen and then mm -hmm. the knight on f6 is hanging. Beautiful. A, a lot of players might like glance at knight e4 and then reject it right away because there's a pawn here. But you always have to dig further once you have an idea. And knight e4... You guys have given me a lot of source for happiness. I'll live for three years okay. extra of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, very nice. I mean, to find 94 <laughs> so quickly is a nice job. Well done. Bye -bye. So yeah, it, it, it pressures a bishop and also like the other target is this knight because black's committed to g6 and the knight's pinned. Uh, you, you take advantage of both targets and uh, black's losing material by force. As you mentioned, it takes, takes. It's guaranteed to take the knight. Best approach for black is to take here. But after it takes, we we hit the, yeah. the rook and the pawn. And, uh, okay, black can castle. And, okay, all that worked for one extra pawn. But wow. it's, uh, it, it's a very healthy advantage for white. Yeah, fantastic. Wow. Um, another line, I believe this is what happened in the game, was Irene's opponent played bishop to e7. And then Irene found uh, like a nice move order is to take the mm. knight first. Ah, Bishop wow, takes. Nice. Okay, wait. Uh, then, if there's something to solve, yeah, please yeah, do let yeah, me know. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah so there, there, there are two ways for white to win material here. Okay. But one approach is better. Okay. So the question is, what should white do? Yeah. So obviously knight captures on f6 and queen captures back and you win the d5 pawn is not the answer <laughs> because that pawn. Yeah, so that's that's the obvious approach and that's actually not the best. Like yeah. if we imagine yeah. takes, takes, yeah. takes. Um, and okay. white's up a pawn but underdeveloped. So there there is a better approach here. Hmm. Mm. Creative Noob says we have all the time in the world, Eric. Uh, and Chinmayet, yes, I have changed the stream title to featuring Eric Rosen, so more people know. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so the weakness is in position, the queen is there, the knight can be attacked, the bishop is hanging. Is it the same idea of bishop going to c4 now i'm just thinking wait <laughs> uh, so anything with his face like no hints <laughs> there's no change in reaction so i'm thinking it's not there <laughs> that's not the one but uh, yeah I'm, I'm trying to um to offer some some insight <laughs> that won't completely give away yeah. Um, um, but of course, like when, when you're looking for, for potential tactics, you, you want to look for, of, of course, forcing moves. So like checks and captures, you, you considered like the most forcing move in F6. Right. Um, um, but what other potential captures are there? Oh, I saw it. Now I saw it. Now I saw it. Queen captures in D5. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> and I've, I've noticed this with... Um, Probably with more experienced players, or they're just more quick to see like potential forks. In this yeah. case, you should be aware of the forking potential, especially if the queen lands on d5. Right. In this case, uh, okay, I Irene found this, and um, the point is that after takes and white takes and uh, and wins back the queen and remains up a pawn with queens off yep. the board. Nice. That is and Irene managed to win quite easily after that. 
Um, so it, it was like a, it was a very funny opening trap because it seemed like at least in this position after bishop c5, yeah. black followed like all the opening principles, like controls the center with the pawns, develops the pieces. Meanwhile, white has moved the bishop twice, then proceeds to move the knight twice. And uh, amazingly, white's just winning material despite wow. neglecting a lot of opening yeah. principles. Well, I think uh, goes to show the on, power of only targets. one uh, thing that black did wrong was he wanted to put his bishop on g7 and then brought it out to c5 and that's mm -hmm. that's the downfall yeah 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 there's one weakening move g6 and then white has an enough enough pressure just with the knight and the bishop is is g6 uh, very commonly played in like at high level too um i i mean we we can check actually um so it's yeah. uh, the fifth most common move but I mean, relative to the numbers, it's it's not so typical. Hmm. Um, and and in general, I, I like the other move order with knight f three for white. Hmm. So I think there's more trapping potential. But th this is nice. Like if you if you know maybe your opponent will right. will be likely to go into this line, and you right. you prepare this specifically for them. Um, I'm not sure if this is. Been in the data. Oh, we, we can see uh, Irene Sukhandar. Oh. Um, so I wasn't lying. Uh, there, there have been five games in this wow. position. Wow. Maksudlu also has played. Yeah. Very nice. So anyway, I, I can show. I, I can share one yes, last yes, thing please. if you guys would like. Um, giving away a, a lot of secrets, but uh, <laughs> that's been that, that's one of the the reasons why I, I'm I'm happy like being. Uh, um, a content creator rather than uh, a professional chess player is um, it, it's more fun to like share these things rather than to keep them secrets and, oh, and hope to someday get them in a game. It's crazy. And, and the amount of entertainment uh, it provided yesterday. <laughs> mm -hmm. it oh, that's was, really okay. great to see. Yeah, yeah. but uh, so, so Eric, uh, the thing is you, you do make this content, but do you also spend a lot of time preparing these things in your study room? Um, yeah, I'll like, I, I like to experiment with different openings and very often when I stream, uh, the, the chat will suggest openings for me okay. to play and I'll do streams where I just like, I, I take opening suggestions and then that will kind of force me to learn nice. these, these weird lines and I'm always discovering new ideas. Um, and very often like I'll, I'll study on my own, but I'll also just study on stream. Um, and uh yeah recently i mean it seems like a lot of people enjoy these like gambits uh so I, i've been i've been researching like a lot of dubious gambits where they're not so well known at, at top level chess but are, are very effective against amateur level nice, players nice um so anyway the the next one um and last one i'll show is, is kind of a newer line i've i've discovered um unlike the this h5 line <laughs> which can win a lot of the games this this line is a bit more i i would say a bit more reputable and and again more geared towards high level preparation um but it's a kind of a newer idea from very early on and i should note that it starts it starts with d4 d5 like you can't get into it if you play mana six mm. on move one um but the idea is to play c5 uh most players play yeah. e3 if you're white and you want to like shock your opponent, you can play e4. It's an interesting mm. gambit. It's like a reverse Alvin counter gambit. But most players play e3. Um, and then black can take. Okay. Mm. Take. So far, it looks all standard. Knight c6. And most common move yeah. here is c3. Yeah. And the move. Which we can see by the stats, it, it's been played, but it's not so common. And it, at first, it looks really ugly. Is pawn f6? Mm, yeah, looks very ugly. I mean, the knight on g8 is not happy. Yeah, no, it looks like it's just so like bad, especially because your whole king side is underdeveloped. Um, first, like whenever you're studying chess, especially in chess base, and you see, you see the score in like so much in in one side's favor and and with like a, a decent number of games it should be kind of the sign that there there's some potential mm -hmm. there's already been like a, a decent number of, of strong players playing this um 
but the one of the main ideas and it's, it's a really fascinating variation uh there won't necessarily be a puzzle to this one um but it looks very natural for white to play bishop d3 with the idea to threaten queen h5 okay right and if white plays bishop d3 uh there, there's a beautiful engine line which which gives black like a guaranteed advantage and, and very nice uh, chances to just get a, a dominating position from early on and that move is e5 mm -hmm. Uh, where black essentially allows queen h5, uh, gives up material after bishop takes g6, h takes g6, queen takes h8, uh, takes on f4. So he gets to this position, black is down the yeah. exchange. Also seems to like have a king side which is completely g6 crumbled. G6 is also hanging. However, and g6 is hanging, so white still has initiative. But after bishop f5, uh, it's black who's in the driver's seat. This queen's out of play. Queen e7 comes in many lines. F3 is an idea, casting queen side. There's some ideas with taking in bishop b4 once you get your king nice. safe. Um, and even if you turn on the engine, engine will give, I think, uh, uh, eventually like a, a, an edge for black if you leave it running for mm -hmm. long enough. Um, if you just play around with some of the lines, you also realize like how, how difficult it is for, for white yeah. to play. Wow. So that's a bit more high level preparation, but um, it's one of these things like if you know you're playing a strong player who plays a London and you want to prepare something very specific for them, it's uh, it's a neat idea. I'm so sorry, but like I didn't understand the clear advantage for black here. Like if queen just goes to h7, doesn't that, and then starts trying to come out, like how is this like totally scary? Yeah, so the, the problem for white, like white's completely undeveloped. And it's very hard to get castled in time. Okay. So the whole, the all of the compensation revolves around the fact that this king's going to be stuck in the center, um, and black's pieces come to life very quickly. All right. So if we imagine a move like queen, um, queen h seven, mm -hmm. um, then queen queen b six is very strong here, uh, where black gets immediate initiative. Uh, white's going to have to spend a, probably another move taking care of this pawn. Yeah. And then casting queenside comes, rook e8 comes. I, I was thinking of knight f3 here. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, f3. queen h7, queen b6, knight f3. Oh, sure. uh, and queen takes b2, short castle. Oh, and my white goes for rook e1. Uh, no, I also, if you take on a1, I want to take on b7 if possible. Uh, so. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that is too bad or. Oh, so so rook, so the bishop controls ah, c8. So thankfully we have rook, rook c8. And now rook e1 check, just bishop e7, and I think everything is safe. Yeah. 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 Some of these lines are are very like complex. Um, but okay, at at a high level, like black should be very happy going into right, something right. like this. Yeah. Wow. So. Ooh, and and is, uh, just to be clear, like e5, d, e, f, e, and then queen h5 doesn't change anything. Yeah, like take, take, queen h5. Oh, that's a good point. Um, g6, bishop g6. Bishop g6. The computer is already loving black, but the question is... E into f4. Queen, yeah. Oh, this actually gives the, the queen... Oh, so queen e7. Weapon. Yeah, so like once bishop d3 is played, like black's already already in the yeah, driver's yeah, seat. Absolutely. And even just to like wrap this up, um, even if white doesn't play uh, this kind of this bishop d3 move, but plays knight f3, it's still very playable for black. The idea is bishop here, and then black will employ a setup with g5, e6, bishop d6, knight e7. Um, it's actually like it's very pleasant to play for black. It's, it's unusual, but um, it's it's hard for white to actually punish. You know, Eric, uh, if if something like this happens, for example, e4 first move, c6, mm -hmm. d4, d5, e d c d. Uh, now the main move is bishop d3, uh, knight c6, c3, and 
you you can't get it because six. queen h5 Maybe queen h5 comes yeah but yeah. but if he plays instead of bishop d3 if he plays bishop f4 and now knight c6 and, it's and c3 position. and then we hmm. can reach from a karo khan into the london system like <laughs> That's right. And there, there's other lines like in the Karo Khan where F6 is playable. Yeah, yeah. Where um, it's a weird idea. Um, it's one of those things if you're new to chess, it's probably better to just stay away from because F6 usually doesn't help mm. you much. But there are these cases where it, it, it does it does have some value if, if you understand the underlying ideas i don't think i've ever played f6 i don't think i've ever gone like you know even tried that's probably a good thing <laughs> even thought about it like not even played like i don't uh -huh. think i've even thought about it yet but uh just the idea it, what baffles me is that how can someone finding a line by losing two pieces back to back letting the queen come so close to the king and there's a clear line after that wow yeah, and it's um I think it's one of these things that people have kind of have have used engines these days to to dig very deep and and to fully understand that you you can afford to give away material if you're getting some some initiative or some attack. Um, yeah. So it's like I I think en engines are actually helping chess expand and kind of show that there there's a lot more richness to the game that we did not otherwise uh discover back in the early days yeah that's that's incredible um i'm i'm somehow reminded of biswa's question biswa is one of the other comedians uh, one of the three comedians that actually come to saga's class and he had a great uh, idea about what if ais and like engines develop to a point where uh it just suggests the first move and that's it like <laughs> white is winning like what if it comes to that point <laughs> but yeah that's yeah, I think we're we're very far away from that, but we we do <laughs> we do have uh, the the um was it the seven piece table yeah. base, so um, any any chess position with seven pieces or le or less is okay. solved. Wow. Yeah. Oh, but, I didn't... but to get up to thirty two pieces, it's going to take a long time. Hopefully, hopefully that's 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 what we hope for uh eric while you are here if you don't mind I, i'm going to spend a lot of time today uh working on this but why is d4 followed by bishop f4 the best move order to go into the london and not what people used to do originally with knight mm. f3 yeah I, I can give a simple answer to this um it's kind of a matter of taste um I'll say for me, the reason why I don't play knight f3 here is because of the king's and queen uh. setups. Um, where like there, there's still a lot of lot of strong players playing this knight f3 move order, and if if g6 is played, they'll go into a tory. Um, personally, I play bishop f4 so that if black plays g6, I'll play knight oh, c3. Okay. And this is this this is a whole other like venomous line I could spend hours talking about, but um, the whole idea is to trick a King's Indian player. Like if they play Bishop G seven, mm -hmm. this is now not quite a King's Indian. This is more yeah. of a Pierce, where the idea for White is Queen D two Castle, and then eventually just checkmate. Yeah, something like this one fifty attack or something it's called. Yeah, I I don't know. I I heard something like that. Uh, I I think there's yeah, a few yeah. names for it. Uh, I've heard like. Uh, yes, the yes, barrier yes, attack, uh, even like Jobava London. Yes, if, if Black plays yes. D five here, um, there's a line where White just plays H four, and it's it's completely fine. And there, there's there's a lot of lot of cool variations which right. stem from right. this. Okay, so the main idea why they don't go Knight F three first is mainly against these Kings Indian setups. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. There's there's some lines where like you delay Knight F three um to like discourage knight h5 mm. but um i mean the, the main reason i i play bishop f4 is is specifically for g6 fantastic, on fantastic. uh okay eric uh shekhar kulkarni thank you shout out to you arjun kharal says love for chess is growing more and more because of you sagar eric you have given some interesting lines today thanks for that yeah absolutely eric you have actually uh, given so much food for thought not just for vibo and the fans but also for me like i i'm i'm beginning to uh, love the london system thanks to your your uh, teachings so wonderful 
Oh, it's been my pleasure. Like when people find joy in these lines, it brings it brings me joy too. So happy to uh, to to spread it. And I, I know there's a lot of people on the internet who who don't necessarily like the London. It, it has this like kind of uh, maybe boring reputation, but it's it's a very rich opening when you look at it uh, look at the lines more deeply. Yeah. So that's that's all Fantastic. great to hear. This is beautiful, man. This is just beautiful. Eric, can you can you mm -hmm. stop Please. sharing your screen so we can make the video bigger uh, and then we can just yeah. Of course. So, so Vibo, what was cool? Yeah, like to to learn from Eric. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was it was so nice. It was so nice, and and uh, I'm really glad that uh, he showed these lines against London because Biswa uh, plays a lot of London, so it'll be very interesting to just like try these out with him. And it'll be really nice uh, for our learning curves, I guess. Oh, that, that, that's great. Yeah. If you ever come across like other openings that you want ideas in, or you want like just some, some quick opening traps or, or preparation, uh, yeah, feel free to reach out and I'll, I'll so, be so, happy uh, to share. Uh, how oh, how can you. how can people, uh, what, what are your timings? Like when do you stream so that people here can start following you? And where do they follow you on Twitch, YouTube? How is it? Yeah, so um, Twitch Twitch channel, I, I don't have a set okay. stream schedule because things are so hectic, but I, I do try and stream uh, several times a week. Uh, Twitch channel is just I am Rosen. I am Rosen. Uh, if you follow me, you can get notified when I go live. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. If you just type in Eric Rosen, you'll find it. Um, I, I'm at 99,000 subscribers really? right now. On so. Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing some celebration on Twitch or on days. YouTube. On YouTube, uh, on okay, YouTube. guys, let's yeah. try to make it uh, hundred thousand for him. He's on ninety nine thousand. If that happens, that would be wonderful. Uh, and uh, Eric truly deserves hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, Eric, uh, thank you so much for coming here. I have one question, Eric. Uh, do you? Is so I, um, I, I try and just take the best content from, uh, from Twitch. All right. Um, cause when I do a, a three hour stream there, there's usually like a, a handful of games I'll, I'll, I'll cut up and, and put onto YouTube just so it's, it's more, more easily found. Thanks. So, yeah. If, if you want to see the, the full content, just, uh, just watch on Twitch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Oh, it's been fun. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna probably get some sleep, but uh, yes, I'll, I'll try and catch more of these uh, more often. Yeah, yeah, sure, and and hopefully we'll we'll have you more on on uh, on our streams. Thank you so much for coming here and being so so benevolent and so free with all your uh, learnings. It was real joy to have you. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. much. Bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. Vaibo, what a day, what a day, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Just beautiful. Like what he's shown is just, he, he's like mind blowing. ultimate expert on the London. And, uh, he came here and he, he shared with us so many nice tricks. Right here. Uh, it was, it was so, so cool. And, and the main thing is, you know, many people try to show something which you already know, which is like well known because uh, i mean i'm seeing all of the stuff everywhere and what eric showed today was very unique like even i had not seen it which shows like he wants he wanted to show some new content which was already not published which is not not common you know like amazing yeah, I mean, like he's, it's almost like he's doing research out of it which is really nice yeah absolutely absolutely ah so we started off with the aim of uh i showing you a game on uh this and it turned into a london london system class but i i think uh it was it was great fun we will do what i had prepared tomorrow uh, all right sure. yeah yeah and uh fantastic i think i'm gonna send anirban these uh today's stream tell him to because he's playing this one i'm like you uh, feel free to just watch <laughs> the potentials that they, there are in the game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, guys, I would just request all of you to to make sure that you subscribe to Eric's channel uh, on YouTube. He has 99,000 subscribers right now. It would be very nice if we could help him to reach 100K and then, um, you know, well, maybe he can come more often to, to Chess Base India. Uh, okay. Uh, Vaibhav, so I think we should we should end today's stream.
Uh, I've, thank you so much, man. Thank you, Sagar. I'm. I'm. I'm thank you, you so much to get Eric also. Like it's it's just amazing that you did this. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. No, I mean they are so wonderful people. I just sent him a message on Facebook, and he was here. Uh, and also, you know, Vibo, if it wasn't for you uh, today morning, I was thinking, should I go? Should I do the stream? Should I not do? And Vibo was up, and I said, no, we have to do it. And once we started it, uh, you know, one thing That's led it. to another, and <laughs> it... so glad we did. It. Yeah, so glad. yeah, yeah. And I, I think uh, inviting some some new people uh, onto the stream makes it more exciting uh, so so we will try to try to get more people guys if you have any suggestions as to who uh, would be interesting please let us know by the way uh, i think maybe timur rajabov may join us at some point uh, you know rajabov yes uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I do. yeah so he 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 has started his own youtube channel and uh, i spoke to him yesterday through email and he may join us in this next week uh, maybe not in the morning because it will be too early in Europe, but uh, on a on a fresh stream, and it would be nice because you know Rajabo is an ultimate expert in the King's Indian uh, from oh. Black, and he beat Gary Kasparov when he was just 15 years old when Kasparov was on the height of um, wow. his powers. So the King's Indian. Yes, with the King's Indian, and also he was in uh, you know he was for uh, selected for the candidates, and there was this all entire episode yeah. where he couldn't play because of the covid scare so a true right. legend true legend and uh, it would be nice to have him uh, on yeah. stream i'm gonna ask him what would he, what is he gonna do now that candidates is gonna review <laughs> <laughs> it's such a tricky thing i'm sure he must be tired answering that question now <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but uh, right. okay so Vaibo, thanks and i'll see you today evening maybe you will join for the comedians on board stream absolutely and yeah. we, will, we can commentate together Sure. Thank you so much, Sagar. Thanks, Vaibo. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, was amazing. All of you were so wonderful. JB Rao says, with this level of classes, Vaibo will win every comedians on board from now on. Well, I hope they have number three soon. Uh, and yes, all of you have been mentioning about Rahul Subramaniam. I will try to make sure that Rahul comes one of the days. Uh, also, John Bartholomew is one of your suggestions, so I will I will uh, try and speak to him. Uh, also, there is um, oh Magnus Carlson, yeah, that's everyone's favorite. Get Magnus Carlson. <laughs> well, if we can get Magnus, that would be so nice. I think I missed a couple of super chats, which I'm going to take out some time and read. Uh, you guys were really wonderful to Eric, and I was so happy that all of you gave him such a warm welcome. Uh, it was by who was it? I think so. Rakshit Singh, who says, I played against Vaibhav yesterday before his match. He played a new variation in the English and put me in a lot of pressure. Please check it out. Oh. Rakshit, I will ask Vaibo next time tomorrow uh, about this English. Uh, thanks for uh, for mentioning this. I will do that. I think rest all of them were read out. So thank you all. Vishi Anand, Judith Polgar, Ben Feingold. Okay, that's interesting suggestions. Change the title of the stream. What is it? Improving Chess featuring Eric Rosen. Yeah, that's the stream name. No? Yeah. Um, who else? Who else? Okay. So I'll I'll try to see Pragnananda. Yeah, Pragnananda. I I was thinking maybe we can get Pragnananda here. He is amazing. Uh, John Bartholomew. I will talk to him. Uh, if he I have never spoken to him yet, but I know his from his videos. Wonderful guy. Uh very patient the way he teaches and shows chess uh, would be nice and just before we leave let me check what eric rosen stream how many subscribers 99000 now so actually it was 98 point something when we started we have 99000 and let's hope we can reach 100k once again a big thanks to all the viewers everyone who is here and especially eric for for the show and also to Vaibhav 
for waking up every day. It's not easy, guys. 41 days. We're going to make it 50. Yeah. Please stay tuned. Bye-bye.